reasons the European Union should be paying Britain for Brexit and not the other way round. The mainstream media and Euromaniacs have been loudly claiming that a consequence of the Brexit vote will be huge payments made by the British people by way of a divorce settlement with the EU. Others, however, believe the EU should be paying Britain, and here's why. 1. Two world wars. Twice during the last century the British people have been called upon to free European nations from oppression and brutality. Now this may sound like a long time ago, but it took the British taxpayer until as recently as 2006 to pay off all the debt incurred during those two wars. Liberating European countries cost the British taxpayer just over £1 trillion in today's money. 2. The EU assets. Great Britain has been the EU's second largest contributor. As such, Britain is also the EU's second largest shareholder and should be able to sell back any assets of value. This includes all buildings, cars and other property bought and used by the EU collective. Assets should be valued and Britain paid off in a way any other divorce or partnership breakup is handled. 3. EU defence and economic stability The United Kingdom is, after America, the most powerful and efficient military power on the planet. Its economic stability and defence capability has no other peer. It's part of that historic small island mentality we've always had. Britain is capable of defending its national interest and those of her allies anywhere in the world, and the EU's collective armies cannot match the British in terms of military strength. 4. Access to the City of London, the largest financial centre in the world. London is the world's leading financial centre with over 250 foreign banks. 96% of the EU's emission trading scheme is traded in London. 588 overseas companies are also quoted in London. Times columnist Ian Martin said the entire EU debt machine runs out of London. We run your currency. 80% of the Eurozone debt, the derivatives, the stuff that makes the Eurozone go around, all of it resides in London. Of course, now parts of that could go to Frankfurt and Paris, but the German finance ministry is on record as understanding the risks of dislocating with London. 5. Exports and imports the European Union exports 80 billion in sterling more goods and service to the United Kingdom than we export to them. A no-deal scenario would hurt the EU far more than the UK. And yet they expect the British to pay for the privilege of trading with a stagnant Eurozone, failing currency and mass unemployment. Not to mention the out-of-control migration. How much do they expect us to pay? 52 billion is the latest figure. But the EU has far more to lose from Brexit than the British do. They should not be throwing their weight around and making threats and demands. I hope the British government fully understands that Britain is a powerful country with a lot of clever people in it. Because we do. This has been Albert Jack for The Jack Report.